No. Pocket sized evil. Evil on the go. Hey, what's up, my peoples? M. Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DX9 War in Pocket, Tyrant, and Hurricane. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here you have very nice artwork here of Tyrant and Hurricane, or Galvatron and Cyclonus. War in pocket, warning, choking hazard, all that stuff. Nothing really on this side, nothing really on that side. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. You have that, which I don't know what that's supposed to say, if that says anything. You got tech specs right here for Tyrant and tech specs for Hurricane. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have... Tyrant and Hurricane. Now, DX9 is doing their own line of, basically, you know, Legends-scaled figures, and um, they've already done a couple sets of these, and these are probably the only ones that I will get just because I really just wanted the Galvatron. Really, I just wanted Galvatron. But um, still, it's, it's a neat set. Pretty cool. Now, we will take Tyrant, we'll put him off to the side, and we will look at Hurricane who is a little Cyclonus, and it's it's pretty good. It's not spot on to his alt mode, but, you know, it, it kind of gets the shape right, um, considering the scale and, you know, uh, what it needs to do. Um, but still, you know, you get some red here for the windshield. You do get a lot of nice sculpted details. You get some nice silver paint apps here. You get the uh, thrusters in the back picked out in red. And, you know, it does have visible heads and room. Yeah, it's right there. He's just... He looks angry. He looks really angry. <laughs> but there you go. He does come with an accessory. He comes with his his gun right here. A little triple-barreled gun. Which just plugs in under the nose cone. Just take it, plug it right in. And that does help to kind of balance him out because you see the fists end up serving as landing gears. And this kind of just evens everything out so he can sit level. So there you go. And just for comparison, here he is with Power Glide. So you can see. How he scales with the Combiner Wars dudes. And here he is with Starscream. Again, just for a sense of scale. So, there you have that. Unfortunately, the nose cone doesn't tab it in any way, so it's pretty easy to just kind of go whoop and knock it out of place. But there you go. It's simple. It's basic. It's Cyclonus. So, transformation. Just unplug this, put it off to the side. You want to untab the arms from the side here. Then you want to untab the legs. See has a little peg right there, just pegs and right under the foot. Then you just fold his legs down. Well, you want to flip up this little thruster too. If you don't want to risk, risk uh, scratching the paint there. Flip up the little thruster there. Unfold the leg, flip out his foot, and there you go. Second verse, same as the first. We'll flip this up first. And then, oops, untab the foot, bring that down, flip up the foot. There you got the legs all done. Now you just want to take the hands and they just flip right down, flip right down, and then the whole upper torso section just slides right up like that. And then you just take the nose cone, flip down against his back, and there you go. There you have Hetty Kane, aka Cyclonus, in his robot mode. And it's a nice looking robot mode. Very nicely done. I like the head sculpt. The head sculpt is very nice. It's uh, it's definitely a, a much more uh, IDW styled head sculpt, and I really like that. Very very cool. And all around, very nice. You do you get some more some more silver here that's revealed in robot mode. And very nice. You know, it's simple, but it does what it needs to do, and I I, I think it does it very well. Articulation wise, his head can rotate. It's just on a swivel. You can do a full 360. The shoulders are on a ball joint, but there's not a lot of range of movement. You only get that much outward movement. You can do a full 360. You get a little inward and outward movement. Um, the elbows are on ball joints. You can use a transformation joint on the wrist for something if you want. He does have a waist swivel. The hips are on a ball joint, so you do get nice full range of movement. You do get full range of movement at the knees due to transformation, and he can pivot his feet up and down. So, 
Not super poseable, but poseable enough. And of course, he can hold his weapon. And hold his weapon. And hold his weapon. And there we go. <laughs> there you go. There you got a little Cyclonish. Yay. And just for a comparison, here he is with Power Glide. Right there. Here he is with Starscream. This so you can get a sense of scale. And yeah, he does basically fit that uh, that size class very well. So there you have that. So yeah, there we have Hurricane, aka not Cyclonus. So we'll put him off to the side, and we will bring in Tyrant, aka Galvatron. And here he is in his cannon mode, and. It kind of works. <laughs> from the front, you know, it, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. From the back, it's just like, yeah, his legs are just kind of folded up there. But hey, again, for the size class, you know, you can only get but so elaborate with the engineering. So uh, his head is kind of just kind of peeking out right there. His horns are right there. Um, no real articulation here. I mean, you can kind of move the, uh, the treads around a bit. Um, this piece... For some reason, it was on a hinge. So you can wiggle that around. And, you know, it's a cannon. It does cannon things. There are some nice uh, silver paint apps here. The the silver on this is really nice. It's that nice uh, kind of sparkly silver. It's sparkly. It's very nice and sparkly. And you get a little bit more of that in robot mode. So there you go. Nice paint on the cannon. Very cool. And just for a comparison, here he is with the uh, Legends Megatron. Just for that sense of scale. We have that, and here he is with the Legends Prime. Okay, and just so you can see how it scales. So there you have that. So now we'll just get down to transformation. So you're just going to take the cannon and remove it. it. Just pegs in right there. Put this off to the side for now. You're going to untab his feet right here. Bring it down. Bring up his foot, and you're done. Second verse, same as the first. Bring the leg down, flip up the foot, and you're done. So now you're going to take uh, these side sections here, you're going to bring them up like that, bring the arms up with it. You're going to take this whole assembly here and bring it back like that. You want to rotate his waist 180, and then you're going to take this whole torso and push it down, boop, revealing his head. Then you just bring the arm down, unfold the arm. Second verse, same as the first. Bring that down. Bring the arm down. Then you take a scan in. And we'll just plug in right here to the side of his arm. And there you go. There you have Tyrant, or Galvatron, in his robot mode. And it's a, it's a pretty nice Galvatron. It's a nice little Galvatron. Getting closer on the head sculpt. Nice head sculpt. Like the silver paint. Got nice red eyes. Looks cool. A nice design again. He's got his his red abs, which is essential for a Galvatron. Okay, you do get some some more of that nice silver here, as well as on his feet and his hands with that nice silver also. So pretty cool. Articulation wise, his head again is just on a swivel. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint. You do get full range of movement here, which is nice. Uh, you do get a double jointed elbow. You get a uh, just a, a hinge up top and a ball joint below. You do get a waist swivel. The hips are on a ball joint, so you do get full range of movement. The knees are on a ball joint, and if you want to use a transformation joint for articulation, you, you could. You totally can. And the feet are on ball joints, so you do get a good amount of, uh, of tilt there. So The one thing is that the, uh, the, shoulder, the shoulder pieces, they don't clip in or tab on in any way, so when you're messing with the arms, it's easy to just kind of, you know, just kind of knock them... Knock him off kilter there. Well, there you go. There you have little Galvatron. And the world needs more Galvatron! I will say that till the day I die. <laughs> stand, man. Stand! There you go. So, just for comparison, here he is with Legends Megs and Legends Prime. See how he scales. So, yeah, it works. 
get them out of the way. So yeah, it does work. Again, it, it does fit in nicely with the uh, with the legend scale. So very very cool. We'll bring Tyrant back in. Then we'll do one more comparison. And we got Combiner War Cyclonus and Mania King. Just because. Oh, that's precious. So so precious. Yes, it is. <laughs> so there you go. So there you have that. So yeah, um, a very nice little set here. I mean, I really only bought it for the Galvatron, but this Cyclonus is, is really nice too, so I, I don't regret buying this set. It's two very nice figures. Um, you know, they do what they need to do, they do it well, and uh, yeah, I, I think they're they're very, very cool. Like I said, this is probably, probably the only Warren Pocket set I'll pick up, um, just because, you know, the world needs more Galvatron. But um, still, I like what they're doing with this line. It's pretty cool. Um, but these are the only two I really felt were worth getting, because I love me some Galvatron. And Cyclonus is cool, too, so... Definitely worth it. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with them. So if this interests you in any way whatsoever, then by all means, pick it up. And if you would like to pick it up or any of DX9's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so do check it out. And I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the DX9 War in Pocket, Tyrant, and Hurricane. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face! Cyclonus! Yes, sir. I've come up with a new plan! No. Oh. I hope it's better than your last plan. Yes! Milkshakes! I'm sorry, what? Milkshakes! Humans love these things called milkshakes! So what we're gonna do is we're going to replace the milkshakes with a completely disgusting concoction! I'm not following. They'll be so disgusted, they'll be completely preoccupied and won't be able to stop us from taking over the world! <laughs> and... How do you plan on achieving this goal, sir? I found a wizard! I'm going to back away again. Oh, come on! I trust this guy! He's good! He's not a con man! He only charged me half my life savings! Come on! Cyclonus! Where are you going? Cyclonus! Don't leave me!